Hello, my name is Adam Bean and today I would like to build or introduce the simplest possible micro frontend. And for this purpose, I would actually use the already introduced BCE template, which is based on vanilla web components and uses lit HTML and Redux behind the scenes. So um, what I did, I already installed means just cloned the uh, BCE design template or the BCE quick starter. And um, it is um, here uh, and renamed that to shell. This is going to be the application shell. And what I also did, I created two simplistic applications, micro A and micro B. So um, let's take a look at the applications. And uh, what I would like to do is to start them. This is the um, micro A runner and it starts the uh, service and then go ahead and start the micro B runner. It's also started. So the first one starts at port uh, 8080 and this the second one 8282. So uh, let's see whether it is working. So I would like to open this here. It is working. So this is the second one. It is um, 8282. And uh, let's see whether the first one is also working, 8080. So, and, and both the micro A and micro B just represent external micro frontends or how to call them uh, externally loadable custom elements or web components. So now take a look at the source code. So the um, micro A and micro B are identical. This is just this index HTML page which um, loads to make it a little bit more realistic a micro hello web component and this um, micro hello is just uh, empty it's not even lit html here so it's the simplistic hello world component and this emits micro a and the other one micro b now the um, more interesting stuff happens inside the shell if we take a look on that um, we have in the app js the router, the Vadin router, and the Vadin router uh, configures the routes at and as well A and B. So let's start uh, the component as well with browser sync or the application shell with browser sync. So, and we have the, um, the uh, add bookmark component. We can add the bookmarks and list the bookmarks. So this empty right now, but what you can also do, we can switch or load externally micro A and micro B. So how this is working, this is could be called micro frontend because the um, custom elements are loaded remotely and they could represent a more sophisticated application. So now um, let's take a look. So it is just, uh, there's no difference in the routing. We just uh, loading A and B with different names. What's more interesting is the import here. So um, all the uh, local components are loaded from the local path, but what's absolutely possible, we can load remotely with the import statement to custom elements, micro hello, and uh, micro hello is the same name of the file, different ports, 8080 and 8082, and the components come with uh, different names, A micro hello and B micro hello. So thank you for watching and see you at upcoming conferences, projects, or even the Hex Live. So thank you and bye.